Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here today with the fourth layout using my um, August 2015 Hip Kit Club kit. And this is their Project Life kit from that month. Um, this is definitely an older kit, but I'm still working with it because I have it in my stash. And I typically, at least this year in 2017, I've been buying a lot of kits as they're on sale at companies. So a lot of the kits that I've been working with here recently are a little bit older. However, I think my next kit is actually going to be a newer kit. So um, I, I haven't totally decided which one I'm going to use next, but I kind of have a feeling that my next kit is going to be a newer kit. And I think I'm going to switch it to a um, like 12 by 12 kit. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure. But the very first thing I did was pull out a 12 by 12 page because as you can see, I'm actually doing a full scrapbook page here, not a Project Life spread. And so I pulled out this piece of paper from the Pink Paisley Hello Sunshine 12 by 12 kit. Um, not kit. 12 by 12 paper pad. But I'm really liking this. I don't know when it actually came out, but I recently, I think, I can't remember if I recently purchased it or if I just recently pulled it out of my stash. But for whatever reason, I pulled it out and I started working with it and I absolutely love this paper pad. So I think I'm going to keep it out and kind of keep pulling from it and see what else I can create with it. I think this is going to be the paper pad that I go to if I need a larger piece of paper. So um, if I'm pulling a page kit or if I am working with a kit, this might be the paper pad that I just kind of keep handy. Now I needed something behind my photo. I matted it with some white cardstock and then I pulled out my little scrap box and I pulled out two pieces of paper. I have this navy blue um, embossed cardstock and then I have this one piece of cardstock. It was well, a piece of pattern paper. It was probably about a three by 12 inch strip and it was just um, kind of a pink tone on tone polka dot and so I decided to actually use that but I had to cut it apart and um, so it was like a three by six two three by six squares and I just kind of taped those to get together to make them a um I wouldn't say it's maybe it wasn't three then maybe it was like a four by twelve because it's definitely bigger than a six by six here this is probably like a six by eight or a six by I don't even know whatever it is <clears throat> either way it doesn't really matter. I had to make a larger piece in order to do the photo mat. So I'm going to make a larger piece of this and this is actually going to be kind of my main cluster here on the page. I'm not going to trim this mat down quite yet. I will end up trimming it down some, but it's going to stay a little bit larger for a, for a while. And then I am going to use a um, three by four card from the kit. This is the first thing that I've actually pulled out of the kit to use, but I'm flipping through the different three by four cards to see if there's anything else that I want to cut apart and use. But I'm using this um, a three by four journaling card to do my journaling on and I am going to trim that down and make a smaller journaling spot and then use the off cut from that um, journaling card in order to put my title on there. I um, pulled out this this paper pad that I keep flipping through trying to decide if there's anything I want to use it from use from it and I do I use this one little cut apart piece but this uh, paper pad is the my mind's eye cut and paste six by six paper pad is what this is. And it's just one I had pulled out of my stash. I keep my six by six paper pads in a box on the bottom of my desk on a shelf so I can kind of see them. Um, they're about, cause I stand at my desk. So these paper pads are in a little box, probably about knee height in front of me whenever I'm standing. So I can, I see those paper pads all the time. And I love six by six paper pads. I don't know why I don't pull from them more often, but I love that you get all of the papers in a much smaller scale especially these cut apart pieces on the regular 12 by 12 sheet that would have been a three by four card but since I'm using a reduced size it's what one and a one and a half inches by two inches is that, is that the right I think that's right <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry my nose is running a little bit I'm a little congested I'm sitting here at my desk drinking hot um, hot cocoa not coffee hot cocoa because when I woke up this morning it was like 40 degrees outside and I know that that's not that cold for most people but for me here in North Carolina when it's been like in the 90s and 100s and like a week and a half ago it's like freezing outside so I had to get some cocoa and it's really bothering I already had coffee this morning that's the only reason I'm not drinking another cup of coffee I've already had one but it's starting to bother my sinuses a little bit and you know giving me some congestion so I've got to work through that <laughs> <clears throat> so my title here, I used some of the alphas that came in the kit. There were five different um, sheets of this scripty font, and there was also one sheet of thickers. And um, 
I used the paler pink alpha and that's the one that kind of coordinated with this paper that I've used as the background for my photo. So I, I'm looking at this journaling card and it just looks a little large to me so I'm going to go ahead and trim it down. And that little card from the cut apart sheet from the 6x6 paper pad says extra special and I just trimmed around that arrow. Here's where I'm actually cutting down my little uh, pink tone on tone mat to make it a little bit smaller and make it a little bit more proportioned to the photo. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim down my journaling card just to make it a little bit more square versus rectangle rectangular rather. I'm still kind of working through where I want everything placed. I don't have anything glued down at this point other than my little cluster is glued together. Now right now it says from three to four on just a piece of white cardstock but I'm actually going to change that title and put it on that little off cut that I have from the um, journaling card that I used. I'm going to use some of this washi tape to ground the page at the bottom. Now I had a thought about whether the uh, patterns were too competing like the background has a hexagon shape on it and then the um, washi tape itself has like arrows or uh, triangles and I thought it was going to be competing with with the uh, background page too um, like too much but I actually really like the way that it looks I thought I'd try it and if I didn't like it I'll just take it up I mean it's washi tape so it, it removes it comes off pretty easily some washi tapes actually rip but this one doesn't it actually removes fairly nicely <coughs> Now, okay, so this is my biggest problem with this kit, and um, I think I talked about it in my last, I don't know if I already talked about it or not, but I'll try to remember to talk about it in the Killer Kit video. My biggest issue with this kit was that there are a ton of alphas, which I absolutely love. That's the thing I like the most about the kit, but the thing I, I had the biggest struggle with is because there were so many alphas, I think there were less embellishments added. So I really don't have anything to add to this page other than some gold labels, which I wasn't using gold, so that kind of knocks that out. And then those chipboard hearts, which I do use, but I need some other embellishments on this page. So I'm going through my little bins that I keep on my desk. And I, if I haven't already talked about it in a, um, I think I have already talked about it in a, in my monthly haul video, um, I talk about how I had these used up items or like items on my desk that I wanted to use up. And I just went ahead and kind of cut all those things apart and put them in these little bins on my desk. And so I keep them at the ready in order for me to use them. And it's really worked out. It's worked out a lot better than keeping them in the packages in a little box. Now they're actually in bins that I can see and they sit across the top of my desk, which you cannot actually see in the camera view, but it's about two inches above where the camera stops. So. I can see them as I'm creating and it's a great way for me to pull from things right there um, and just see what you know what coordinates without having to pull out a whole bunch of different packages from my stash. I already have items sitting right there ready to use and that's what those um, green label stickers came from as well as those tags that I had cut a piece of um, cut apart. I had used those tags for something else and I had just kept the, the off cuts from them um, and it's perfect for layering um, elements here and I'm going to layer one right under the top of the photo and then one under that pink tone on tone polka dot paper. Pulled out a stamp set and this stamp set is actually from Gossamer Blue's March 2017 kit and I'm just going to stamp <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to stamp one thing right here on top of my journaling card, and then I am going to go back and stamp one thing on the top of the page. So I pulled out a circle that said start here, and that was actually cut apart from a 12x12 12 12, um, pattern paper, and I think I did that. I think that was from a Studio Calico kit from a long time ago, but I still have a few of those floating around in my stash and it kind of matched the tones of this paper. Um, so I pulled it out and I'm just gonna add my journaling. I will add a very small, um, well, so the stamp said current status and I just wrote in happy and then I am gonna add a little off cut right under that because I felt like it needed something else on this journaling card. And this is one reason why I like to keep all the little bits and pieces that I cut off from my pages. I like keeping those little bits around just in case it's um, something that I can use on my layout. And then at the end, when I'm done working with the kit, if I haven't used up all the little scraps and bits and pieces, then I'll throw them away. But I had this little one that kind of coordinated with the um, colors on the card already. 
And so it was just an easy way to add a little bit of something else to that journaling card, unless it, instead of it just being a plain journaling card. And all I talk about in my journaling is how <clears throat> Wanda's family has now grown from three to four, and then just absolutely how excited Walter is. He's my nephew, the one that you see there in the red shirt. And if you can see his face, he's just ecstatic. Like he's got this giant smile on his face. So I think it's super cute to see that. Um, that he was so excited. Now I've also pulled out that stamp set had a label, had a date label box. And so I pulled that out and I'm going to put that right down here at the bottom. And this is just documenting the day that Warren, my littlest nephew was born. And I'm just using my pen to fill that in. It's February 18th, 2016. And so I'm just going to glue that right down there at the bottom. Nothing special, just gluing it in, in um, right there at the bottom. Now I've got my little chipboard hearts that I'm going to go ahead and glue down and I've still got to work on my cluster on the top left. I'm just gluing these down now I always reinforce them with some liquid glue and I just use Tombow Mono Multi um, liquid glue that's just my glue of choice. When I first started scrapbooking I used to watch um, well, when I was card making I used to watch Christina Warner a lot and that was always the glue that she used and ever since then I've just used it and it's always worked very well for me so that's just my glue of choice. I've got to glue down my lay on uh, my labels my tag pieces here and I'm just layering behind the different layers behind my photo just to kind of give it a little extra dimension and just makes those tags look a little bit longer and a little bit bigger um, I'm just askew setting them askew a tad bit and I moved that one because you could see a colored dot behind it and I thought that that was weird looking I wanted the white showing through I have this other little piece of the green sticker, so I just cut it into a little banner and I'm going to layer it behind my journaling spot. That just brings that green, that teal green to another part of the layout. And then I've got to work on my top left cluster here. I had one little tiny bit of that sticker left and I was debating on whether to put it down anywhere else. And um, I'm just going to kind of fiddle around with it and then I end up just throwing it back into my, um, my little scrap bin. <clears throat> and that's why those things are sitting there. They're sitting there for me to pull from. So it's really nice just having them um, available in case I want to use it. So I'm debating, do I want to layer something else on the side to break up the um, teal green from the background? Or do I want to go ahead and just um, glue these down as is? So I'm going to glue that um, circle up there to the top with it kind of hanging off the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to trim it off. And then I'm going to glue the arrow right above it. And then I'm going to put the chipboard heart up, um, on top of that. So I was just kind of working through different ways that I could do it. And I don't know why it took me quite so long to kind of settle on the exact same way I'd originally had it sitting there. But, you know, you got to work through your options every once in a while. And I guess it took me a while to work through my options. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. And then glue that chipboard piece down again with the um, liquid glue. I'm trying, so my, the biggest struggle is that I wanted to have the heart, uh, not the heart, I wanted to have the circle and I wanted to have the arrow, but the heart was a little bit larger and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't covering up the point on the arrow. I'm sorry if you guys can hear any noise in the background, the TV's actually running and so um, you can actually, you might be able to hear a little bit of what's going on in the background. I hope not though. So then I'm doing one final stamp up here at the top left and it just says everyday magic and it is going to be um, layered on top of that start here die cut. And this actually is um, one of the last little bits that I have added to this page. I'm just kind of sorting through to see if there's anything else. I am going to change that from three to four to being on top of the die, the uh, piece of the journal tag that I cut off. And then that should actually be it for this layout. Thank you so much for joining me, you all. I really appreciate all of the support that you guys provide. Um, please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be happy to answer those for you. and. Stay tuned because I should have something else coming up soon for you guys. All right. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.